Good afternoon, Jim here, AG6IF, working on a little capacitor project today. I've got a mag loop I use for APRS, and uh, it's always a challenge with a mag loop with a capacitor because they're uh, very high voltage and they're a little bit expensive. I have a, air, a vacuum variable at Jennings here that goes from 3 picofarads up to 30, and I need a little bit more. I've got a butterfly one out there now, and it's uh, not really rated for the voltage, 3,800 volts, that I possibly could it could see at 100 watts. So what I want to do is I'm experimenting with building a fixed capacitor that would handle high voltage, and it would allow me to keep my APRS mag loop tuned nicely to exactly where it needs to be. I don't use the antenna to move around the bands, which is what's real nice about an air variable or a, a butterfly style capacitor. But here's what we can do. Um, all the capacitor is is two conductors with, separated by a dielectric. So I've got a capacitor meter here. Uh, it's a little cheap one from China. It works pretty good. And uh, I'm building my capacitor out of just some tiles. Everybody's seen these in the home home uh, improvement stores. And I've got a couple of, co a couple of uh, conductors here, a piece of aluminum foil. I've got about that size, and then underneath there, another one. So if we measure the, the capacitance, I'll try to do this with one hand, between those two plates, like so, at about 100 picofarads. So I selected 100 picofarads because my antenna needs to be about uh, around 90 picofarads. So what the neat thing about this is, what you can do, is you can increase if we add add one to the stack here uh, let's see here I can either make those sheets of aluminum smaller or I can add a I can actually add a panel let's do that here real quick take one of those put one on another one on and set this back on here okay now what we have is we've got the conductors are separated by an extra panel here and what you're going to see is the capacitance is going to go down touch on there so we went from 100 picofarads down to 60 so I know my starting point is 100 so I'm going to try to keep this as small and as light as possible and I'm going to probably end up tuning into about 90 so anyway that's uh, that's the plan and I'm going to remove that that piece back out of there. It's kind of like building some uh, Legos here, some toys. All right, so we should be back to about 100. Put it back like it was. Now as I go down, if I want like 90, I'm just going to make the uh, sheet of aluminum a little bit smaller just by folding it into a smaller surface area. And you can start big and work your way down, uh, basically. And then what I do is uh, I'm going to sandwich just a piece of copper wire in here and have it come out out the side probably more like this if I can get it in there to show you you get the idea I'm going to sandwich this in there like so and and I'm just going to trap that in there like that and one on the other panel as well and uh, basically uh, I'm going to clamp this thing down with uh, either some zip ties or something uh, so that's going to just slide in there and that gives me my leads for the capacitor that will hook to the antenna. So um, a do-it-yourself high-voltage capacitor made with some real cheap uh, tile from uh, just some, some kitchen countertop tile that are four-inch squares. You can make them any size, and you can stack them up as high as you want. I'm trying to make just two, uh, two conductors here, a stack of two, which will take... Um, uh, actually take three three tiles so uh, that's the plan and then I'll add this to my mag loop antenna and adjust the uh, surface area of the of the aluminum foil so that it's tuned on the APRS 30 meters 10.147.300 if you followed along with some of my videos uh, I'm working with N1ZZZ and a few others and we're uh, we're putting an APRS 30 meter eye gate uh, Jeremy N1ZZZ is a ship's captain, and he travels the world's oceans, and we uh, really enjoy talking to him on APRS and uh, so forth. And 
uh, a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you can uh, build your own capacitor as well. So uh, have a nice day, and happy holidays. This is Jim, AG6IF in Southern California. Take care now. 7-3.